Welcome my friends in this journey of <coughs> conscious evolution and transformation. <coughs> Last week I was making a presentation to a group uh, through a projector. So I connected the projector to my laptop and what was projected was upside down. Projection, projector. And then I see where lies the problem. And I figured out the problem and it was solved. This is what happens to the mind also. The mind is constantly projecting. So before projection, there is a perception. So to understand any practice of meditation or mindfulness, if you look clearly, what to look clearly? Perception and projection. So I use the four words from today. Just go through these four words. Perception, projection, delusion, and suffering. So it is not the end. No, I'm suffering from anxiety and anger and hesitation. You have to pick up how, where, why the mind is projecting. So let us pick up some of the principles from the Eastern wisdom. Perception. Perceptions means knowledge, knowing, we use the word perception for, you know, knowing through the eyes, knowing through the ears, the sense of touch, and then also through the mind. Perception. Perception is always natural. See, one perception in daily life. You look at your honey, oh, she is my wife, he is my husband. You look at your kids. Oh, they are my children. The moment your mind claims honey, husband, wife, children, is it perception and or projection? Ask yourself. So perception is just gives you the right knowledge naturally where the mind is not interfering <coughs> mind is going through the eyes in the sense organ the mind is also going through the mind but the moment you give a label it is projection let me repeat it and understand that perception is knowing by the senses in the mind have you heard about CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy? Exactly, we are going parallel to this. Now the projector, projection is like projector projects what is in the PC or laptop or the PowerPoint presentation or the smartphone. Now the same thing happens after the perception, the mind through the past impression, which is not known by the mind until some thought enters into the mind. Honey, not good. Likes and dislikes. Kids, not listening to me. See that. 
that projection body is not working. I just received an email about the MS, you know, the, I have an extreme pain on the left side of the body. Projection. So when I projected my PowerPoint presentation, a slide on the wall, does that exist? Is the question. I projected my honey is making me crazy. Is that exist? It exists in my mind, but it is being projected. Just remember the four words and find out, oh, I'm projecting this, which is not there. Honey means honey. But when I say good, bad, high, low, it is the projection of the mind and the projection leads to delusion. Do you remember the eight factors we covered in one of the sessions? I see a person that is good, perception. Now the mind says this person is good or bad, so the attachment and the detachment may come into the mind. Now see that. The mind now, why the attachment and detachment? Because of likes and dislikes. And that mind creates a desire to escape from what one dislikes and to get it what one likes. And that desire, a mind swings like a pendulum, right, left, right, left. And that leads to confusion. Confusion leads to loss of memory of what? Who am I? Why the hell mind you are projecting? And the moment you are aware of it, from the background the peace comes. It is so simple. So delusion means what my mind sees I claim is right, not what is the real perception. And that causes the suffering in our life. Well, you may say anxiety, stress, duality, conflict, problems, all comes from. So four words, perception, projection, delusion, and the suffering. So some people say, okay, let me close my eyes. I don't see anything in the world and so I can meditate. My master used to say that. Why you want to see yourself with closed eyes and you see the entire world with eyes open? So the secret of success in meditation lies that it is 24 by 7. It is not the perception, it is the projection that causes the problem. And that projection is the cause of miseries in our life. You wake up in the morning, look at your honey and check, is it perception? Or projection. Buddha says the first of the Eightfold Noble Path is right view, right perception, right knowledge. So now see that how our masters speak about it. When the mind is obsessed with the likes and dislikes, giving label to the people outside, getting obsessed and forgets one's true nature. And the true nature is full of peace and happiness. We can also understand from the Patanjali that the moment this mind projects 
it always projects to seek happiness and peace in life. In the objects outside, in the people outside, in the place outside, in the time outside. Take an example of a time. In the past, when the mind projects the past in the present, Oh, sometime we regret, sometime we repent, sometime we say we should not have done it, and the mind is constantly busy. In the present, present also becomes a big problem. We start comparing with others. I did this, you see that? You didn't follow this. I did right, comparison. And the future worries. This is how the mind is projected. And it is just a moment you become aware. Is it right perception or a projection? The delusion drops. Suffering drops. And you are with yourself. That is what the meditation and mindfulness is. Just remember. Understand that. A constant remembering. One master says, what is meditation? It is self-remembering. What is self-remembering? Not the self that I am the body, I am the breath, I am the intellect, I am the ego, and I am the engineer, or I am the doctor. No. I became all of them. What I am. A state of pure consciousness behind the mind, behind the senses. So you live into that state of consciousness and then you are already into the state of meditation. Just look at it. Maybe you look at me and maintain an awareness inside. Is it perception or projection? The mind is working through the projection about this guy. Good teacher, bad teacher. Talks a lot, talks less. And long list. You see that? Which is not at all required in our daily living. You all guys come and I speak and I give the practice and it is finished. So perception minus projection destroys and dissolves the delusion here and now. In that state, the mind starts moving within. So there is no self-forgetting, there is a self-remembering. It can be done with eyes open, it can be done with eyes closed, it can be done while lying down, it can be done while sitting and standing. And the stories about Buddha, we Learn that the Buddha practiced meditation while sitting for six months, lying on the right side for six months, lying on the left side for six months, and standing for six months. You don't need anything, anything from outside. When there is a right perception, the mind by default or naturally starts moving within. It filters all the projection. And when it filters all the projection, the mind shines with the wisdom. What is that wisdom? Who am I and who am I not? Who am I not? Mind is obsessed, projection. Who am I? Right perception. You are already into the state of meditation. 
So let us start our journey of meditation today. Eyes are closed. Simple. Eyes are closed. Uh, last week we learned we close our eyes requesting the mind drop the projection and move inside. You see, you pick up any session and you can reach to that higher state. It's all about you. So when you get into the position of the body, look at this body. What that means? Perception. You know, the science uses cognition. So don't go into the big words. Position of the body. And now the mind says, here is a discomfort, remove that. You see, it is so natural. And then, look at the breath. Good. Look, perception. Look at the mind. The beauty of the mind is that mind can perceive the mind. The real journey of any meditation and mindfulness begins when you know it that the mind is looking at the mind. That is what we say, thoughts are coming and going, feelings, sensations are coming and going. And then tell the mind, why don't you look behind yourself? And the mind says, I see the emptiness and darkness or the space or nothingness, whatever it is. Don't create any projection, just see it. Okay, I'm okay. And that leads us to being comfortable. In being comfortable, in being carefree, in being casual, you actually do nothing. Doing anything has to have a projection. It may be good, it may be bad. But when we are doing with the right knowledge, that projection becomes a step in meditation and mindfulness. I call them as devices and the steps and the tools. There are thousands of the steps, but meditation is one. So I repeat being comfortable more or less in the same manner with a little tweak so that your mind does not become habitual. Look at the neck joint. Be there. When I say look, it, is, it means perception. Perception without any action. So the result is you feel the sensation. Sensation was previously also there but now you feel that sensation. Good. And you also feel kind of being comfortable. It's your feeling. Look at it. What I taught, I'm just giving you the same.
Look at uh, the shoulder joints. Now pick up one more point here. So that the mind and the intellect is a hundred percent clear to succeed in the journey today itself. Look at the shoulder joints. That is what I said, it's a perception. But you also perceive what is being projected by the mind at the same time. What is that projection? The mind goes to some other thought, you know, some other feeling. It remembers the pain and the past and the present and the future. So what to do with that? Do nothing. Every individual have its personalized projection in terms of the thought, feeling, sensation, memory, past. You need not to do anything. And the moment you start doing something, you are already lost. And when you are lost, you forget. You see, today we are going slowly. Why? So that we keep the mind on the right perception. Move the mind on the hip joint. Feel the sensation. Being comfortable and a sense of steadiness is also there. That is what you are perceiving. I can understand your mind may be taking it lightly when I start the journey of being comfortable. But this step is one of the most powerful step that filters the projection and you start the journey in a right perception. That is what is being comfortable. Look at the entire body. When you are looking at the entire body and the mind with the projection says, how dare you keep the body steady? It moves. We don't know even the thought and then we translate, no, no, I was feeling something and that's why. You see that? My master used to say, that meditation is an extraordinary awareness where the sense organs are left behind. The mind is left behind with all its projection. The intellect and the ego are left behind. And what do we find? The true nature. And now the second part, being careful, being carefree. F who cares? I have repeated, I think, hundreds of times. Who cares the mind? Why it cares? And how? Through the projection. So the step is what? Oh, mind you are projecting. So now project yourself being carefree. Why? What is being projected is not there. And what is there that I experience? The thoughts and the feelings and the sensation and the projected past and the memories. That is the meaning. Let the thought come and let it go. So where are you looking? You're looking deep inside. What is that looking? It is a perception. What do you perceive? The mind unwantingly, un mind brings these thoughts and the feelings as unwanted guest. Ask yourself, do you entertain them? Do you entertain any stranger or unwanted guest? 
Someone knocks at the door. No, here is a scheme. No, I'm not interested. Thank you very much. That is what the let me come and let me let these thoughts come and go. See that it is so much natural. We do it physically. Being carefree. The mind returns with the thought, after all, I have been suffering from so many problems in the body. And you stop being carefree. Don't you know it? Yes, you know it. What is the need of that thought at this time? No, no, after all, I am suffering. So the mind is projected, get obsessed, and then you block the mind to meditate. You see, as a mentor, as a guide, as a teacher, we walk together consciously, understanding every step, every moment. That understanding is what? Perception. And being casual. Being casual means being natural. Being natural means what? A state of doing nothing. But perception continues. You know, I have met many people during my journey they get obsessed. No, I'm still seeing my, I still feel, I still feel the sensation, I still experience the stillness. The mind should be shut completely. What do you mean? The life is awareness. And if I'm not aware, then I'm dead. <coughs> <coughs> Don't get obsessed with those ideas. Learn it with the clarity and understanding. Good. Now we, we recheck. Is the mind in the state of right perception? Is the body steady? Experience that state of steadiness. Isn't it uh, almost doing nothing? Yes. Good. So the body a very soothing sensation is there. Even if it is not there, are you perceiving? Perception of the body is there, that's enough. And then you experience the sense of steadiness, that's okay. The steadiness and the sensation brings a feeling of some, something like relaxation. And the most important is the mind cheerful? Oh yes, you are on a right path. So when you are into that state of right perception, 
Don't start thinking now I'm in a right perception. The projection will never return. It will. Until all the impressions known as vasanas are deleted completely. So look at the breath. Three-pointed awareness. Do you remember perception? We are not doing anything. You see that? We continue to remain in the state of doing nothing until this point. Why? Anything that the mind does has to be done through the projection. A very subtle principle. So you are looking at the breath. So you know, you see the word carefully I choose. You know the breath is going in and out. That knowing is simply perception. You simply see what is happening. Another perception, the second point. You know that when the breath goes in or out, you feel the sensation. At the same time, the third knowing, you do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Three-pointed awareness of the breath. Until this point, we are not doing anything. Not doing anything effortless. Not doing anything natural. Looking at the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation, no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Having and keeping the right perception of the body that is in the state of comfortable and steadiness, we work on the mind through the breath. And I see we will, we will sneak into the mind consciously. You look at the breath. The moment the breath goes in, just drop Shantoham. The moment the breath returns, drop Shantoham. 
Shantoham with the understanding I'm the peace somewhere here and now deep within me one option and second option the master says let the mind look into the infinite space is the space too no so where the mind now see that where the mind rightly projects oneness the mind will return to who am i there is no other option left for the mind the moment you are two then comes the journey the world and the me and then the mind returns with the past impression and projecting millions of things at the same time that's why we say the mind is wandering how the mind can wander we allow it so the body is in the state of relaxation in the steadiness you bypass it the breath is going in shanto hum Shantoham. Using the tool of the breath for the mind. I think I made it clear. When there is a projection. the mind either in the mode of wandering or forgetfulness or obsession in order to treat that now you make a breath little deeper without making any noise remember it is deep it is silent in slow breath so you extend the breath a little slower and drop to shanto hum with every breath going in with every breath coming out In all yoga we have one principle you regulate the breath to regulate the mind you regulate the mind means you discipline the mind to also discipline the breath the prana that is what we are applying here means what in the state of relaxation of the body as if you bypass the body with the right perception the breath is little deeper silent and slow where you drop to shanto hum and with every shanto hum you become aware of the space Why not drop three shanto hum? Means the breath is little longer, but check. 
Is the mind projecting a discomfort when the breath is going in and out? Oh, that will take you to delusion. And if the movement of the breath in the mind with the Shantoham is happening naturally, you continue to live into the state of right perception. Now return to the two shantoham with the breath. So the mind says, okay, that is easier. Why do you say it is easier? Because of the same projection. But we are moving the mind in a right projection. And now only one, you return to the same Shantoham and the perception and the projection of the Shantoham merged together, you know it, you are already there into the state of meditation or mindfulness.
Now do nothing. There is awareness, there is a knowledge, there is an experience. Why my master used to say that meditation is an extraordinary state of awareness? What that mean practically? So do nothing and the mind by default continues to project something from our existing impression. The moment it projects, you remember shantoham and drop shantoham over any projection and then see what happens. That is why it is an extraordinary state of awareness. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti Bring your awareness or the mind on the right hand your awareness on the left hand lift your both the palms place it on your eyes open the eyes inside Again, know your experiences. Bring the hands down and let us share our experiences. Haji, how are you, Ashok? Uh, I'm good. Yes, big pro feeling relaxed, big projection, good. That is how it works. And who is there? Ah, oh, Priscilla, how are you? <laughs> I, I wanted it to go on longer because by the time I was getting relaxed, it was over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
No, it took it took me a while. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. That is another way to recognize that it is the mind projecting the existing impression that causes the delusion is taking over at that moment. That's why it is taking a long time. Right. So you right. see that. That is one way to pick up and understand. So you see sometimes people say, no, I don't want to see this guy. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? What happened? You know, just an example. <laughs> So that happens. How are you, Paul? Doing well. It's very good. It's very relaxing. Very relaxing. Yes, Terry is open. How are you, Terry? I'm okay. I, my body was fighting, but I just tried not. I just kept pers persevering with the lesson to uh, ignore it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Try not to react. Yeah, yeah. When you drive a car, do you ignore other cars? Well, no. To, you just well, keep a safe distance. You are already aware. Similarly, when the mind projects, then it claims I'm ignoring, but the mind keeps its obsession with the body. It will happen. Don't worry, you are committed. It is going to happen. But you are relaxed. I just focus on Wonderful. So... Thing by itself. So, no, you may share the experiences in order to understand clearly. There is nothing belongs to me. Everything belongs to you and everybody. So, who is there? Samir? Are you open to listening me or anyone can open unmute their yes, phone? Sir. Yes, sir. Where are you, sir? Sir, I am here. Uh, it was very good, sir. And uh, in my this chest, no, I just, uh, I was, I means sir, it is written like Shantom is written in my chest. That's it wonderful. Looking like that. <clears throat> in English, S-H-N-A-T-O-M is written on oh, the chest. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Who are you? I was doing it, Shantom, Shantom. It was, I was looking also at Shantom. I wanted uh, people to narrate this experience. Who are you, Samir? I am. Yeah. I am a disciple. Ah, uh, uh, disciple. <laughs> Don't become my... I am also your disciple. So, understand one thing. One pointer comes that every day subconsciously the mind projects I'm husband, I'm wife, I'm Samar, I'm, I'm Samir, I'm Paul and Prisla. But one day when the mind vibrates, Shantoham. Who am I? Shantoham. Who am I? Shantoham. Done. We have reached to that. So, yes. That is one way to explain your uh, experience. So, how are you? You are always early, Shobha. Yes. You don't listen to the teacher. Namaste. Yes, very good. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm and the body is flowing. Yeah, see that there are holidays. That is why I succeed in meditation. Look at this projection. <laughs> this will never succeed. Sangeeta, how are you? Uh, sir, today unpleasant thoughts were coming Yes, there are unpleasant thoughts coming in. Understand simply. Unpleasant thought projection, it is not me. Projector, whatever the projector projects on the wall is not there. And wo projection hai thought hai, phir shanto hum ke Ho jai, ho jai, he'll succeed. So who else is left? Pushkar, how are you, sir? I'm fine, sir. 
Ah. Good. Good. So, my friends will meet again next week at the same time. Thank you very much for tolerating me.